Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll see how to enable SSH key based authentication with Cisco devices. In the previous tutorial we have seen how to enable that with Ubuntu machine. So we have created a variable here key file and we were loading the private key file and we have given look for keys and allow agent true and we connected to the device using SSH key. Now we'll see how to enable this with Cisco device. So while enabling this with Cisco, one thing to remember is in the latest Ubuntu and Paramico that doesn't support some of the older algorithms like RSA SSH. We need to manually enable that in the SSH config file. So first we'll enable SSH key based authentication in Cisco device. And for that first we need to copy the key, the public key of this Linux machine to Cisco device. So we'll be copying id underscore rsa pub file and we can see that file here slash dot ssh and id underscore rsa dot pub and we cannot copy as it is because in cisco terminal they accept 256 character so if this is more than 256 it won't accept so we need to fold this content so for that we can use fold hyphen b and hyphen width will give 64 character per line and then we can give this file and now this content we can copy paste to cisco terminal so i'll open ssh to cisco device i'll give csr1.test.lab And here if you see we don't have any user called admin2 we'll create a user with admin2 and we don't have any ip as such public key configured so we'll configure that we need to go to configure terminal ip ssh public key chain and here we'll give a user admin2 and here we need to paste the key string so we can copy this content and paste it here and in to give exit and then we can write the config and execute show run command and we will verify the current rsa key so the key file the hash of this key file is 2b44 and from the linux terminal we can verify that for that the command is ssh keygen and hyphen e then so this is md5 hashing so we need to give md5 here then hyphen lf and this file name and it is 2b44 so the same file is copied here now if you try to ssh using the username admin2 so still it is prompting for password this is because by default during this SSH handshake Cisco is giving the older algorithm RSA SSH so we need to enable that manually in the Linux terminal we need to open the SSH config file and here I have already added this value I just need to uncomment this if it is not there in your machine you can manually add it public key accepted key types we need to add SSH RSA and I'll save this file now we'll try to initiate SSH so now I'm able to initiate and connect to the device but this user doesn't have any privilege that is why I'm getting this mode so I'll configure username admin2 with privilege 
15 and now we'll try initiating SSH so now I'm getting the terminal with proper privileges and now we have done it from Linux terminal same thing we have to do it from Python as well so let us go to PyCharm I'll copy this script Paramico exception where I have demonstrated how to handle the exceptions I'll copy this so there is a new file 09 underscore ssh key auth I'll paste it here and here we'll try giving look for keys true and the default value of this is true anyway you can see that even in the Paramico documentation look for keys will be true here hello agent also will give true and here username will change to admin2 and we don't need password now we can remove the password and even from here we can remove the password and I'll remove this as well and let us try running this script and we are getting a message saying that no existing session we'll see how to enable logging in Paramico later I'll be creating a detailed video on logging here with one liner we'll enable logging and see some details so to enable logging Paramico dot util dot log to file and here we can give a file name I will call this paramico.log and we already have a file I'll delete that comma then we need to set the level I'll set the level debug so that I'll get all the messages here in this directory and now we'll try running this so now we have a log file here paramico.log and if you look into this you can see many details here so they have even identified the remote device vendor details and so this is our SSH handshake and after that even here you can see the MD5 hash of our public key then Paramico's public key algorithms are this RSA SHA2512 and SHA2256 they are giving preference for this so in the latest versions you might see this and here after that it is saying so client is rejecting that so you may use disable algorithms to support SSH RSA so let us do that so I'll go to PyCharm here we'll give disable algorithms and then we will pass a dictionary and inside dictionary the key is going to be public keys equal to and that is going to have list of contents so there we can paste 
these two algorithms i'll paste it and we'll try running this so now we are able to connect to the device successfully because we have given the exception here for these two public key algorithms and if you look into the log file of paramico so we should be able to see that and here also if you want to specifically give any particular key pair what you can do is we can just define key file equal to and here we need to import rsa key and then rsa key dot from private key file and we can give the file name file name equal to slash home the username evolve then slash dot ssh slash id underscore rsa and then that file name we can define here p key equal to the key file and i'll put a comma and now this will be taking the specific key file and like we did on line x here we were using even a passphrase so you can even add a encrypted private key using same method and if we try running this this will be able to connect to the device and execute the command i hope this was helpful for you to understand how to initiate ssh using the ssh key